Hello everyone, welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited. My name is Saurav Mishra and today in this video we are going to discuss about the protection relay test unit. Its order code is 2223 6220.1.7 So in this video we are going to discuss about the components, its working and its application. So starting with the components of protection relay test unit. Let's start the, this is the eight section parts. In the first section, this is a three phase AC power supply panel. Three power indicators have been given for the R phase, Y phase and B phase. The next, there is a three phase supply has been given. This is the doll starter, the start button and the stop button of the system. Next, these were given for shorting of the wire and the connection with R phase, Y phase, B phase, neutral and earth. Moving on to the next panel that is three phase AC measurement panel. This is, has been given for the count of voltage and current values which is uh, there for the input. This is ports for the R phase, Y phase, B phase and the neutral port. These were for the inputs and these were for the outputs. Moving towards the next, that is current and elapsed timer panel in which this is an ammeter fitted over here which calculates the output current of the system and a timer has been given which counts the time of the trip current. Moving towards the forward and reverse panel, from here you can set the forward biasing and reverse biasing of this whole panel. Next, this is the voltage and current injector panel. From this, you can inject the current and voltage value for the panel. Next, that is current transformer panel. In this current transformer panel, you can uh, transfer, uh, you can used for the, this R phase, Y phase and B phase in the current transformer panel. Next, that is resistive load panel. From this, you can provide a load resistive in the panel of value. Last one, that is lamp load panel. In the lamp load panel, this is used for the neutral fault protection for the R phase, Y phase and B phase. These were for the R, R phase and it's neutral. Y phase and it's neutral, B, uh, B phase and it's neutral. So this is the complete eight. This is the complete for the protection relay test unit. Next, we are going to uh, talk about protection relay panel. So moving for the protection relay panel, these were the again three ports for R phase, Y phase, and B phase, and the neutral. 3 meters have been given for different 3 different current loads. This is for the over and under protection. This meter is for the over and under protection. 2 relay trips have been given for the over and under protection. Next, this meter is for the over current protection. And again, 2 trip relays have been given for the over current protection. And the last meter is for the neutral fault protection and again two relay trips have been given for the neutral fault protection and you can obtain the output from R, Y and B and the neutral port. So this is the complete component demonstration about the protection relay panel. So starting with the connections of the protection relay test unit, we will start the connection. So firstly, Check, take this cable, connect this port with this port, R port with R port, R base, Y with Y and B with B. After this, 
take patch code connect this with this one short both these then connect Y phase with this Y phase and this B phase with this B phase now take a patch code and connect this output with this the with this port and connect this neutral with this neutral port now connect these r y and b phase with this r y and b phase of the protection relay panel so take r port and connect it with the r port take y port and connect it with the y port always check that the connection should be very proper otherwise we will not get the output and b port with the b port you can check the circuit now next we have to connect these two ports with this short ports ok so let's start the connection connect this port this upper one in the current and elapsed timer panel the upper one with the first port second row first port T13 port and the second T4 input with the T14 out you can check now next continuing with this this T11 port take the connection from here to this NC port of the over and under protection since we are first performing over and under protection so connect first port with this one next T12 port connect this with the neutral part of the over and under protection so here the circuit is completed now two more connections is left so let's complete them take this port and connect this port and connect it with this T3 port of voltage and current injector panel this port with this port and connect this neutral port neutral port of this neutral port of project protection relay panel with the neutral port of this voltage current injector panel so finally we have completed with our circuit you can also check this so now we have completed all the connections so now we have to check for the under under protection ok so firstly we have to just switch on the back side switches of these all devices so that it has been on switch on these two you can see the emitter and the counter has been on the multifunction meter is on now the switch on the power supply be extremely careful with the supply because it is a three phase supply it's risky ok put this regulator in the forward biasing ok you can see it's the reading is showing 0000, 0, 0, 0 because we haven't start the doll starter 
so on starting brawl starter the readings will be uh, here and after some time after some counter time the trip will be shown in this under protection okay so firstly i will show you the readings of this panel and then afterwards i will show you the readings of this under protection panel okay so let's start the doll starter i have already set the this direct at 190 volts under under voltage main standard is 240 we have set this meter at 190 for checking the video so after a certain time this meter will show us the value of like it's it's it's, it's uh, it has started showing the under value okay so you can see the current supply level this is the input supply and now i'll show you the value of protection relay panel so you can see the uh, counter has stopped okay counter has stopped and uh, mps is became zero the readings has become zero it has shipped to under value now i'll show you the under protection panel so now in this over protection and under protection you can check the readings that it has been showing the, the value at which it has stripped so let me show you the values which it is showing so these are the values it will show you the trip values so it is the complete uh, demonstration of the under protection and after this you can see a red blink in the R phase you have taken R phase and the under, under voltage ok if we will perform the over voltage it will blink on this point we have to take more than 240 voltage and it will show the over voltage so this is the complete protection of uh, this is the complete demonstration of over and under protection now we will go for the the over protection can also be performed like under protection now we will go for the over current protection practical so in the first phase of the video we have seen that uh, uh, how to perform for the over and under protection now we will perform for the over current protection so in this time we have to use this meter so without any delay let's start the connections for the overcurrent protection so first of all we will connect r y and b phases of the three phase ac power supply okay so let's connect it connect these with this one r phase with r1 Y phase with the Y1 B phase with the B1 and the neutral with the neutral one ok so we have connected you can check all four connections R, Y, B and neutral with the R, Y, B and neutral of the three phase AC measurement panel next we have to do the connections of its output with the forward and reverse panel so connect the r phase with the r phase y phase with the y phase always check the connection should be properly tightened otherwise you will not get the output so here we have connected three phase AC measurement panel with the forward and reverse panel next we have to move for the counter part so connect this input T3 port with this T13 port 
we are doing this connection for the counter and this one port this port with this t1 four port t1 four port you can check the connections now next we have to do for the short short wirings so connect t11 port t11 port with the non common port of over current protection check this this port t11 port with this port and the second port to the neutral of the over current protection or the common one okay you can check the circuit next we have to connect the forward reverse panel r phase with this r phase okay next y phase with this y phase and b phase with this b phase you can check the connections again also connect this neutral port of three phase ac measurement panel with the neutral port of protection relay panel okay this port with this neutral port you can check the circuit again now moving on for the next connections take this port t1 port of voltage and current injector panel this r phase port and connect this with this r port must check that the connection should be properly tightened and this neutral port with this neutral port okay if you get the short cables you can change it with the another one cables which will be much easily fitted neutral port with this neutral port okay always check that the connection should be very much tightened so here we have connected this port and this port to this port and this port you can check the circuit now see carefully how i am doing the connections in the voltage and current injection panel we have to connect t3 port with the t5 port we have to short them see t3 port with the t5 port and t6 port with the t1 port of connect t6 port of voltage current injector panel with the t1 port of current transformer panel just short them you can see these two are shorted and at last connect the t4 neutral port the black port of voltage current injector panel with the t12 port of the same panel voltage current injector panel always check that connection should be properly tightened otherwise the current supply will not be there you can check the circuit now next you have to take this connection t8 connection or t7 connection you can choose from of the current transformer panel with this resistive load t1 t8 with this t1 you can check the circuit now the last connections were left so connect the current transformer panel ct1 t4 port with the t24 port of protection relay panel t4 t24 port and the t5 port of 
this with the T2 5 port. So here we have completed the over current protection circuit. You can check. Now we are going to start this. So, so now you can see this. We have connected all the uh, patch ports. Now we have to start this. So we are doing for the over current. So just supply, take the supply on. All the meters are running. Take this to the forward one. We are checking it for the forward biasing. Okay. This is already reset. Okay. Now it is showing the zero because we haven't started the doll starter. So for making it start, we have to start the doll starter. So just click on this. You will listen. You will hear, hear a, a sound when you start the doll starter. Okay. So we have started this and the timer is started. You will see the readings in this meter. I will make you see. Okay. Right now this is blinking. R. And now it is the, it has tripped. Okay. Now I will make you see the reading of this. Okay. So now you can see the reading in this over current protection. This device is for the, meter is for the over current protection. So let me zoom this video. You can see that there is a reading of trip in this. The supply is there for 3.8 ampere. It is showing for the R, R phase that it has been tripped at 3.8 ampere. So here we have completed all over and under protection and over current protection. So if you want to order this, the order code is 2223622.1.7n. For more information, you can refer to the manual. So that's the complete demonstration from my side. If you have any query, you can contact at Tesca Global website. And for more information about this apparatus, you can refer to the manual. For information of other products, you can refer to the links given in the description. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, just like, share and subscribe to our channel.